Neymar to your old club, Manchester City, Nadem. Do you like this idea? <laughs> uh, no, but again, it's not because Neymar's not a good player. I just don't think they need him, especially if he's going to be playing off the left, because you look at this time now and you've got Jack Grealish there, who's in his second season. You've got Phil Foden, who spends a lot of time out there as well. So to be bringing somebody in to sort of stunt the development of those two players doesn't seem to add up to me. I understand he's got the pedigree and all that stuff. But yeah, I just, I just don't see the need for that move in this moment because for City as well, they tend to be sort of building, 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 looking younger whenever they can. And it's that whole concept of future proof. And again, I think for Neymar, for as an outstanding a player as he is, like this moment at Man City isn't the right moment, in my opinion, for him to go there. I think he'd obviously draw the crowd in, he'd score a ton of goals, get assists, but you know, City have the mentality where it's literally everyone is pulling in the same direction all the time. And it's not really about the tricks, the skills. It's about the hard work, the understanding, all this stuff. And I wouldn't say that's necessarily at the forefront of Neymar's sort of ability level. So I don't see it being a good move. And hopefully, you know, the agent's just putting some noise out there to try and get him something else, which he probably wants. But for now... Yes, yeah, it's, it's not. It's a no-go for me. We did make you put together a little eleven, though, of how it might look if he were to go to Manchester City. Craig, do you like this? Do you think Guardiola would be able to get the best out of Neymar? Him setting up goals for Haaland there? No, I absolutely hate it. <laughs> I think it's a ridiculous notion uh, for two reasons. One, City don't need him. Uh, don't need him. And two, the last thing this coach wants is to be remonstrating with a player on the touchline that's not doing the same as the other players when they don't have possession. If you look at the two best teams in England at the moment, Liverpool and City, there's, you, somebody was going to have to go and find me some stats of other teams that work harder when they don't have the ball. Forget when they have the ball, Kay, because we all know what they do and how they do it and the movement and the passing and how dynamic they are. But when they don't have it, they work harder than teams that are about to be relegated if they don't win a game. That's the desire to get that ball back and keep that ball and pressurise the team. And everybody has to be on that page. And when you're not on that page at Manchester City and Nadam sees it more than me, you're off. The hook comes out, get off, and I'll bring somebody on that does. So he doesn't need that. The team doesn't need it because they've got enough talent and the team doesn't need somebody to come in and the manager doesn't need somebody to come in. Doesn't matter how talented he is, but he's not on the same page as every other one. What rate, what rate, what rate always succeeds ability because Guardiola knows how much talent these players have, but if you're not working hard, you don't play. And I'm afraid his reputation goes before him. He's a luxury and Manchester City don't carry luxury players because when you become that, you go and sit on the bench or you go and sit in the stand. That's the level that, that they have set and this manager has set. Why would you sign somebody in that's likely to fall beneath that level? I just... I don't think it's absolutely nuts to me.